Hey, hey, before we even start this video, I, I just want to I just want to tell you to make sure to subscribe because a lot of you forget to do that. Because less than five percent of you are actually subscribed to my channel, and that's kind of crazy. That's kind of kind of wacky. And this video is really fun to make, and it was really nice. You know, it took a while to edit, so it would be nice if you subscribed. Um, so yeah, let's continue with the video. Okay, so we're here with Cyborg Nine One Two. Um, they make a lot of really nice builds and build a boat for treasure. You may have seen them in the end of my uh, update videos where I go over Hall of Fame. And I decided to contact them and see what builds they have. And they're going to show us nine, if I'm not mistaken, nine or more. Um, there could be, yeah. It just depends on how much you want to go through. Yeah. have got a lot of diverse stuff. Thanks for having me. Uh, no problem. So... You, your builds are really nice without you. Without you, I wouldn't have content. <laughs> so this thing is... Um, I didn't actually give this one a name. I just called it uh, Official Walker in my... Uh, in my files. It's actually a... It's one of the bipedal walkers that me and a f friend designed. In, or I think it's a... Um, had some friends that uh, helped develop it, and I think... The one that I put together is more of a improved and also improving on both design and looks because what I have right now is deriving from the original design made by Christina5901 mm -hmm. who has uh, showcased the tutorial for this design in another video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pilot this thing and show you how it moves around. Yeah, sure. It looks really nice. I see a lot yeah, of stuff so on it. The pilot thing is actually retractable. You want, you want to drive this thing? Oh, sure. <laughs> I put the controls. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're in. Yep. So what you want to do first is hold down Z to okay. retract the pistons. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, there you go. And if you zoom into first person, you'll see a reticle for the cockpit. Uh, like, j oh, wait. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And if you want to start moving around, it's uh, R to go forward and F to go backward. And since you're in a pilot seat, you use A and D to turn. Oh, wow. This is n neat. Oh, wow. This actually feels like some kind of like game that I'd play like that isn't build up over This feels like an actual, like, you know, first person shooter or something. Yeah, I played a lot of things like oh. Mech Warrior, just a lot of the old... <laughs> Oh, you're in a pilot seat, so you can just like hold S or something. Yeah, I kind I keep forgetting that I shouldn't use that to walk forward and backwards. Okay. But yeah, this is uh, one of those hidden mechanisms. I'm just gonna go and remove the transparency for every part. Oh. So, right now, those poles that you have on the legs are the things that are holding that thing up. Yeah. But when they're hidden, I, I try to minimize the amount of collision they have. That way, it doesn't look like I can still climb some things and be able to walk. It surprisingly has a lot of balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For something that's just relying on a few sticks. Yeah, you see, like, um, it has a good center of balance, honestly. Like, oh, yeah, you, you see, you found the uh, turret controls. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? That's really cool. Missile firing to M, <gasps> N, and B. Okay, so M. Whoa! Oh that my gosh! Fast. That's amazing. Okay, so wait. I want to go with this. There's a ton of stuff. Okay, and then N. Whoa, that's insane. Here, I'm going to try going on the water. Is, is there anything else you want to show me that's like specific that I can't go in the water for? Um, you can go on the water. It's called pressing T. Oh, what the? <laughs> what? Wait, okay, jeez. That's how I get around. Okay, okay, so B is the last. Okay, that's cool. Ooh. That's amazing. Yeah, you got the last one down there. Yeah, okay, so. Um... Oh, there you go. <laughs> you want to release a bunch of bombs, press G or something. Uh, G? G? I'm going to press G. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! I feel like I'm like playing some... It, what the heck? This is amazing! Thanks man. Oh, no problem. Load my other 
experimental one that I have. Yeah. Back at the fun. Yeah. It's it's not done. It's not done, and I've been procrastinating on this since I've been spending a little bit less time in build a boat. Yeah. But it's uh, based off of the idea that you were just of the mech that you were just inside, and I sort of just went and added more legs to it. Nice. Okay. This one still just has like it has its pistons, got its shape. Um, it's got its mechanism. I just haven't bothered to decorate it yet. Oh, nice. So it's it's still functioning. That's good. Okay, so I got to like the the stage with all like the explosives, and then I just, it just ceased to walk. It was just like I'm done walk. Uh, oh, the leg disconnected. Yeah, this, is a, this is a PV. It's a PVP mech, but like it's not the best when it goes down the stages. Yeah. Um. That that honestly doesn't matter because. We aren't building boats at this time, we're building machines. Just whatever at this point. Yeah. Who, who builds a boat anymore in this game? Like, honestly, who is building an actual boat? Like, I know some people Creativity do. Creativity has taken over. Yeah, it's like Minecraft. And my screwdriver isn't working, just give me a moment right now. Oh, that's fine. So I actually called this thing the Hydra. It's a uh, antagonistic machine based off of a, another game. All right, that, that looks neat. Whoa, it's shooting so it's me left. Pretty similar. <laughs> okay, show me how it works. It doesn't have the best of balance, but it, uh, it has looks... a similar mechanism to the other one. Yeah. It is able to walk on all fours. As you yeah. can see, its balance is absolutely terrible, so I gotta work on that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give it some invisible sticks too. Yeah. Because unlike the other one, if I remove transparency for everything, um, oh, are you can are you really not gonna do that for me? This this is the last of my small ones. I'm gonna start heading over to my medium sized ones. Wait, you, these so, are these are small. Oh yes. my gosh, that's a. I thought those were like decently sized. Oh my, that's amazing. This one is actually just a concept. Because I wanted to have one of my six-legged mechs be, be able to move. Yeah. So this is my concept design for having something with six legs being able to move. That's and insane. And this was actually built before the torque feature was added. So this was a mechanism that was designed to combine the strength of a lot of wheels to move something that's really heavy. Yeah. And then Chill just went and like, you know what, I'm just gonna make it a feature. Yeah. So you can just use six wheels to move infinitely more blocks than 36 wheels. Yeah. You're like the mumbo jumbo of, like, build mechanics and stuff. It's insane. Yeah, I have a friend who is a mechanic, so he likes to work along the more sophisticated mechanisms in terms of uh, mech design. He loves making things that are very compact and work perform a whole lot better, whereas I'm kind of just like putting ideas together. Yeah. And we work together to kind of like make things that uh, look both really interesting and work really well. Yeah, well, it looks amazing. I'm going to go and launch again since screwdriver is not being happy. Oh, uh, does this thing... Um... Does, uh, does this move? It walks. It walks. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, it, it moves pretty similarly to the first one that you controlled, so you can go and pilot it. Okay, so where's the, uh... The seat? Oh, it's... I, for, I forgot to show you. It's, um, let me, let me get a jetpack. You should make one, like, where it's in the leg. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be funny, yeah. Um... Oh shoot, I fell. I put the leg... I, I know I put a door towards the middle. I thought I, I, thought I put it somewhere. Server right now. Yeah. Where did I put the pilot seat? So I feel like I'm in a tree. Oh my gosh, I did the wrong button! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You. Okay, okay. You've got... Oh, what? Oh, I think it's E and Q. Oh, wait, okay. No. Oh yeah, it is E and Q. So this is back. Okay, <laughs> it is trying to fly. I gave this thing, I gave this thing way too much power ever since the torque update happened. It's one of those where they just like, why am I still working on it? I just have it anyway to like 
I used a lot of time trying to put that mechanism together, and then Jill is like, "Yeah, no." Oh shoot! Like that so I'm like, I hold on to my pride on that design. It. This is literally just flying. Yeah, it used to look a whole lot heavier, and that's why so much of its walls and legs and uh, blocks mm -hmm. are are scaled really, really thin just to reduce the weight because yeah back before the update that was a lot of weight for even that many wheels yeah i understand so that was just me trying to optimize it yeah for the torque feature added yeah there That's... isn't too much um, i think the missile controls are m and n again m oh shoot yeah and n okay yeah that's really nice this one looks like it would go pretty far it the it's, under it's, real, it's really simplistic. Yeah, this if I feel like this is what like the under part of a car looks like. And that <laughs> that's a as a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. Cars are um one of those uh, things that just confuse you once you look inside of them. Yeah, this 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 is one of those things that confuse me when I look inside of it. I mean, it makes sense, but it's so confusing still. Yeah. I'm going to load in one of my more stationary builds. Uh, Wait, can we just... still in that thing? No. Oh, oh my gosh, you left it over there. I'm just gonna delete a couple of those as I can. Yeah. That would just, like, lag from a long distance. All right. Can we do, uh, just your mechs this, uh, just your mechs? Yeah, this is, this is still mechs. Oh, okay. Uh, I wouldn't really call this one a mech. It's more of a fortress with legs. But All right. It's, Kind of the thing that I wanted the other one to be able to support. Yeah. Because you know how the other one I said that it's supposed to be a concept to move something with six legs. Mm-hmm. This is the thing that I wanted it to move. Yeah, that that is. It's it already looks amazing, and I've only seen like first five couple seconds of it loading. I wish we had instant load. Instant load. That would made life a lot easier. I'm pretty used to not having insta loads, so it's pretty fine in my case. Yeah. When you don't have VIP service, you kind of just gotta go with what you have. Yeah, I mean, I used to have a VIP server, then I was like, I don't have, I don't have money for it anymore. So I'm hoping YouTube gets me that money. Um, mm -hmm. Has Legion North reviewed any of your builds yet? I'm, I, I'm curious. Um, I didn't. I don't, he hasn't done anything for me, but one of my builds is based off of one of the things he's showed off in one of his videos. Except I tinkered with it and uh, <laughs> went a little further with one of the d designs he posted a video about. Nice. Okay. So this thing, I, I pull it out for two reasons when I'm in the game. One of them is to... As you Press can see, people? <laughs> Yeah, both of the reasons are meant to do that, yeah. <laughs> Only some press. Never never anything else. This is not functional at all. No, it functions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In impressive ways, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. So, I just place a little anchor block in the middle. That way, it doesn't, like, fling around. Yeah. I can so see... these things extend it a little further than the plot, so I just gotta push them out a bit. That is insane! Gosh, I feel like I'm in some like aircraft carrier or something. This thing is based off of a large boss fight that does launch things like helicopters and flying little robots and can blast cannons at long ranges. It's a really inspiring thing. Yeah, it's amazing. Honestly. So, if you want to head into the seat of the other gun, I could show you how to fire these things. Sure. Okay, so how do... So, so the controls are W to go right and okay. S to go left. Whoa! It goes 360. Yeah, it's not quite 360. Well, actually, it can if you elevate the guns. Yeah. You can click on the... Uh, oh, shoot. You know what? Did I, did I fix these things? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Let's not use those. So don't use the ones that are at the top. Use the three that are on the bottom. The three on the bottom. Because I have not fixed that yet. Three on the bottom. Oh, okay, good. I was like, I got too scared. I was like, shh. I'm probably gonna mess this up. 
I'm gonna ruin it. You, you got it right. Cool. So, how do I fire these things? So I'm just gonna go. In, so I'm gonna go ahead and like point over to green team for a sec. So what you want to do is I'll... equip like a wood block. Equip like a wood block and just like, place it on the gun. Preferably, you you should have anchor on and match rotation on. I just like place it right there. See, oh wait, shoot, I don't. Mine. Here, could you place it on mine because I don't have the build tools. Um, are you gonna be firing that way? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll just put it right there. Cool. And what you'll do is, you see how there's a stack of little buttons on yep. in between the second and third barrel. Yeah. You hit the one at the very bottom. Alright. You hit the one at the very bottom. Ooh. That will give you the first set of ammunition. That looks amazing. The next thing you do, you press the white piston, and that will ram the dynamite into the barrel. Okay. And then you pull the pistons back out just to get them out of the way. Okay. Doing you press that. Press the black lever to charge the cannon. Okay. I'm sure you know what the red lever does. Yeah. Feel free to pull it. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's now, one. Now you can just just do it again to get the other two out. Okay. Hey, that looks amazing. I thought it did it so like, fast that I couldn't see it at first. I was like, shoot. Yeah, like, if you're firing at other people with PvP on, it looks really cool when you're just firing and it explodes. Yeah, I bet. And you can just do that going up on the buttons, ram them, and fire. And usually when it lags a lot less, you can fire them really quickly. Yeah. It's one of those things that is they're just like firing off into the stages or something. Oh, wow, that's amazing. It's insane. Yeah. Just shooting it at them like crazy. And if you want to switch the angle that you're firing at, you can just remove the anchor block and then turn the gun and re-anchor. Yeah. Wait, that's, oh, this that's is... my block, so... Nice. And it's so... got like... I think I put, gave it. I gave uh, each gun seven shots. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of them because that'd take like a while. Um, yeah, it was like I like firing this thing off just like when I'm bored. That's basically what a lot of my builds now are for, just keeping me not bored. Yeah. Shoot, I broke Again, it. <laughs> I have my. I built the entire model for this for this thing. But my, it's actually my friend, Christina5901, <gasps> who uh, lended me their railgun design for the dynamite cannons. Nice. Yeah, I have him to thank for these nice turrets. Shout out to Christina. <laughs> yep. And there's one last thing that this uh, thing can do. I'm gonna go ahead and... Um, you might want to stand back for this, or okay. just get outside. Because I love okay. doing this also in my free time. Okay, wait, wait, I have to get out. <laughs> oh, I see everything. Yes, you this already is, know. This is going to be painful. It's, it's really nice to look at, though. I bet it is. Wait. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. It just looks like it's all, like, falling apart like a self-destruct mechanism. That's the point. Oh, that's amazing. 30,000 things. I'm gonna set off the last, the last set before I move on to the next one. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Alrighty, so, let's see. Next one I've got, um... I am gonna load in one of the... This is gonna be one of the first of my tall ones. Okay. Sorry, I'm just mesmerized by, like, the explosion and stuff. This is the one that I said had a Legis design. Oh. Yeah. Well, so it looks really nice. The thing about this mech is that it is piloted with the uh, butter controls, where you attach butter to your, or glue, as it's officially called, mm -hmm. onto your limbs and... 
you control all the animations of the uh, of the mech with your avatar. That's and insane. I don't know if you've seen, but I've I've been able to make this thing dance. Um, I've not seen swing, that. Swing a sword. Hey, show. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll I'll, I'll watch. You wanna place a chair up on there? Sure. I need a. Could you place me a a, a jetpack? <laughs> Sorry, I have no inventory anymore. Cool. So the uh, Dreamcast the area is like, yeah, that's this is actually based off of a really, really old game mech. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what Dreamcast Very is. Very few people in this world will like understand where this guy's from. There we go. There we go. Look at me. So if you, nice. <laughs> if, if you zoom out towards uh, the inside of the mech, you will see me hanging out. So I'm just kind of prepping to get the controls set up. Hey. Okay. Oh wow, I, w I never seen like a butter mech and I don't know how they work at all. So it looks this, cool. I think this is one of the few that are made in large scale because I think everyone else makes them small. Yeah, I want to get a mech of I, I like know. something soon, but I don't know how. Yeah, I, I don't know anybody else who uses the butter controls for a mech this large. Yeah. And I, okay, so that's all of that. So, I, I rarely have this problem, but I don't know what I'll make the thumbnail. Because everything you're showing me is insane. <laughs> everything is, like I said, all my uh, builds are diverse. Yeah. And they look different, they work different. Very few of them are similar. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and launch the boat right now. So hopefully it works while you're riding it. Yeah. And oh, look at that! It works. Whoa! Now we are just running around. That's amazing. And, um, and it just walks on thin air due to the way the glitch works. That's amazing. I love it. So it's kind of like a fly glitch, but you're using it with a machine that can jump and walk. Yeah. Does this go through stages or will it explode? It'll explode since I have uh, blocks attached to my avatar, but I'm I'm surprised that it still works pretty well with you sitting on it. Yeah. Um, so what I'll do right now is I'll equip a sword with my avatar. What? And I can actually just like swing it around, and that's how I battle with it. Whoa! It's really deadly against uh, normal mechs since its animation is really fast and it does not stop. Yeah, that's... Unlike the other ones that just use momentum, this one goes through with the animation. And the arm won't easily come off since it's attached straight to your avatar. That's crazy. I've never seen, like, a mech battle. Oh, like... they're so much fun. They're, they're a little laggy if, you, if you're not ready for them, but they're so much fun. They're gotta... really flash, and there's a... not something you expect from this game. Yeah, I gotta get into contact with like chill to create like an arena for like mech battles. Yeah, in the meantime, everyone else who's been doing it is just being creative. Yeah. With the the way we've been doing things, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And I I told you this thing can dance, so I'm gonna go and do that for you. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, this is my favorite thing to do in this match is. Hype dance in midair. Yeah. Like, yeah. It doesn't look the most natural, but yeah. it looks the. It's, it's, yeah. Um... Yeah. <laughs> but that that doesn't take away from absolutely anything because this is amazing still. Like. But yeah, I can just do any emote like uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Wave. Yeah. Yeah, it can wave. That one looks normal. And I can use like any of the animations and i can even use them for things that aren't even supposed to be uh what they're for like i'm equipping a bow right now and oh. if i try to shoot the bow it makes it look like it's clapping <laughs> yes if you want to clap for a battle that's that's how you do it that's amazing what does the dreamcast button do um it's actually just a design because oh on the reference Mac, this thing has a square game console on the back of it. Oh. That's, uh, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, that's really nice, yeah. It's a, it's a patriot to its platform. Yeah. 
I like I like builds that do that. It it, it brings it like like I don't know how to explain it, but it looks really nice. So that's about everything for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Sonic run the way out of here. Nice. It's like <laughs> viewer discretion is advised. It may hurt your eyes how fast those legs are moving. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and just like void. Uh, it's slowly Rifle. engulfing us. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> This has been part one of three videos that I'm making with Cyberwrecker. Um, this video is actually split in half because the original recording is an hour. And I'm just cutting it this 30 minute chunk and I'm sending the next one for tomorrow. Um, I do hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. Cyberwrecker has insane builds. Make sure to subscribe. I mean, not subscribe. Vote for him for Boat of the Month. He doesn't have any social media he wants to share. So, yeah. You'll see next um, video all the other mechs he has. And then we'll go through builds, which is going to be really nice. So I'll see you then.